1.4 million. Please tell me a bit about your car. Uh, okay, so today I brought two cars here to VCC. Brought in one, the Ferrari 812 GTS. Yeah, the other one's not here. Yeah, so I've done a wide body Novatec and Largo kit with this. So it's a wider car, change the wheels, full exhaust. It's the only one in Australia. This motherfucker don't miss. No, he's fucking good. That motherfucker don't miss. Are you the first owner? Um, yeah, so the original car's 2020, but uh, the Enlargo, I just did that recently, probably a few months ago. It was an Australian-delivered car. The wide body was done. Uh, it was done in Sydney. What do you think of the kit? It looks freaking beautiful. Bruh. Like, oh my God. Tell me about the wide body. Was it the front? Okay. Was it the back? So pretty much everything except for the, the doors and bonnet and the roof. So it's changed the front bumper, front guard, sides, rear guard, rear diffuser is all changed. How long did it take for them to do the uh, conversion? Six months to do the conversion. Yeah, especially the rear, there was quite a lot of work, but, uh, you know. What? For the rear to be done. And how much does it cost to do a white body conversion on this? I think all up was close to 300 Aussie, 300k Aussie, yeah, on top of the car. The kit sold out, so there's 18 in the world, but yeah, the only one in Australia. And the only one crazy enough. <laughs> when you got it, was it on zero kilometers? Are you the very first owner or how many yeah, kilometers yeah, did so it have? I first bought it December 2020, probably had 50, 50 60 kilometers. Yeah, yeah it's got 12,000. Taking this car to Tasmania, done a lot of long trips on it. Yeah. Did you get it like shipped to Tasmania? It got trucked to Melbourne, then we went on the ferry from Melbourne across to Tasmania. And how many kilometers does it have now? 12,000 probably. Yeah, wow. 12,000. So yeah, get driven. Yeah. How much did you get it for two or three years ago and how much did they go for now? Probably be around just over a million. Yeah, all up would probably be that way at one three. 1.4 million and do you think it's gonna hold its value do you think it'll go up I what's your prediction i think it'll go up because it's in a v12 and then again with the kit it's the only one got any offers over the last two three years uh no i don't i don't think i've ever had any offers Bruh. i don't think i'll sell it if less than 1.5 now a lot of our audience are younger entrepreneurs yeah. what advice do you have for young founders timing is quite important your idea doesn't take off the first time maybe your idea was just a little bit too early for the market so just persevere also it's important to have a good good supporting network of family and friends because i think it's quite important that you have that you know you have that support and then what industry are you in are you in the tech space what I'm in start property development i build hotels and warehouses at the moment yeah what's your thoughts on the real estate market over the next two uh, three years real estate market i think it depends i think the real estate market's a bit generalized I think probably if you're saying office buildings is probably going to be a bit tough but if you're doing industrial like warehouses and you know hotels and like that next few years is, is, is going to be very strong if there's like a young entrepreneur maybe he worked a bit he saved up maybe a hundred grand what's your recommendation should he just put that all in a startup should he put a down deposit for his first single family home what's your recommendation startup is i think the next few years is going to be a little bit tough but the ones that are you know still got a good idea that's not in the market they should still do well but it's probably not like two years ago where people are throwing money at startups your own home there's obviously the immigration you know story you know if you think long term you know with your principal home 10 years 15 years you, you can't go wrong but if you're thinking to buy it now and just flip it in two or three years probably not the best investment we've talked to one or two other property developers like how do people get into property development property development there's a high you know network of family and friends that want to probably just you know, like you said kind of crowdfunding maybe start off with a duplex i think that'd still be all right you know in this day and age yeah thank you so much i really appreciate that i think there's a lot of tips that a lot of young owners could sort of inspire to learn from so thank you so much no worries. thanks andy thank, thank you, you.